the United States team. Just a lucky ball to you. Take care. And now we await the bell for round one. Hot schedule for 12. Knutza in red, Knutza in white. And it's Benny Knutza, southpaw stance, forcing the action. In the opening second of round one, and he catches the Knutza with a right to the head. Knutza holding. This is a surprise. Benny on the inside, Knutza in trouble. Running back, stuck into action by those punches, but still, it's Knutza. Staying right on top of Knutza. This is his tactics, he said he'd use them. Knutza staying on top of his younger opponent and lighter opponent. And this is the opening second of round one. Knutza will want to keep the fight at close quarters on the inside. And it's uh, Pierre Knutza's job to try and keep it at a distance. So far, he hasn't been too successful, but uh, Benny simply hasn't given him an opportunity. Look at that. Into Knutza. Well, that's a slip. No knockdown. That's a slip. This has been a very one-sided round so far with Knutza on top all the way. Knutza the southpaw in red. Yet puts her in white. The man backing off. And now try to come back with the right hand, but that wasn't really effective and no power behind it. Straight right to Kutz's best punch. And he's also got a useful left jab. But he needs to uh, control the fight from the distance. He's been shaken down round one. No question about it. Benny Kutz is staying on top of his opponent. Great about uh, Kutz is showing his fight against Bernard Benton and Durban, but he's not really effective on the inside. Whereas Benny Kutz looked very good against Leroy Green at close quarters. I think what we've seen here in round one is a pattern of, of the fight as it unravels. It's going to be this kind of fight, I believe, unless Kutzer can get his left jab working and keep Kutzer at a distance. So far, it hasn't worked. It's been Kutzer all the way. A good right hand from Kutzer, staying on top of Kutzer. Morning and brawling here in round one. Mister, you are holy. Let's be Vanavuga. is holding his third. And not for long. Kutsa is shaken there with a combination left and right to the head. Right. What a surprise. What a good round for Benny Kutsa. Right to that. I don't think there's any question Kutsa must be playing for the bell. He tries to escape from trouble. And now he comes back with a bell rise. Good country. And there's the bell as we end round one, and already Kutza is cut on the left eye. What a round, what a opening round for Benny Knutza. No question who won that round. And he used the strategy, the tactics, he said he would, he stayed right on top of Kutza. Right on top of him. Never gave him any punching rock. Mauled and brawled all the way through the three minutes. Already Kutza is in trouble. Up above the left eye, I see the corner working on. He's simply got to try and dictate this fight from a distance. Unless he does, he's going to be in an awful lot of trouble. He's at a weight disadvantage, a fat disadvantage, and he certainly doesn't have the experience of Benny Kanoza. And here's Alan Tawil wiping his fighter down. Going to round two of the South African heavyweight title fight between Benny Knutzer and Pierre Kutzer. Benny in red, Pierre in white, and it's Benny backing up here. He's already won round one by a good margin. And he wants to keep the pressure on. Kutzer has got to get in his stride. He's got to get that left jab working and keep the fight at a distance, as he's doing now. But not for long. cut on the left eye and there's a nick below the right eye and this is only round two ah now 
Kamatsis is coming back. A couple of good shots to the head. That shook uh, Danny, but Kamatsis is fighting back. Look at these fellows go in round two. Giving no quarter, asking for none, and trading blow for blow. Kamatsis wants to prove he can take a punch. There's been a lot of talk about him having a suspect chin. Breaks the ball in. He hasn't liked any of it. He's prepared to trade with Pitcher here in round two. The question is, can Pitcher take what Benny Kamitsa can hand out? So far, it's been Benny who's been coming out on top. And there's a knockdown. It uh, looked to be a sort of delayed uh, knockdown from the right hand to the head. But it's a knockdown nevertheless. Seven, eight, four. Good body shot. And now Benny Kamitsa is cutting loose. He's got Pitcher in trouble. trying to come back. He's a brave young man. He's not prepared to give in just yet. But as you can see, he's more effective when he's the pass at a distance. He's cut it up with the left eye. Right to that. And then he's leaning on his hand. Don't forget he's got the weight of each and he's leaning, putting all of it on top of Pitzer when they get on the inside in punches. Rolling, drawing, throwing all kinds of punches. For the head. We haven't seen the body attack he promised us, but there, a left hook, his foot cuts it down, and I don't know if he's going to get up. He looks to be in, a, in desperate trouble, but he's a brave young man. He's got to his feet, going to fight on. Jeffrey Van der Hoogen sending Kutzer back, Kutzer back. Now Kutzer goes in for the kill. Can he find the punch to end this fight here in round two? It's been a pretty one-sided fight so far, and it doesn't look as though Kutzer is going to survive too long. Little in the way of defense. And look at that left hook. It knocked to Kutz's head like that. And there's a goal for the end of round two. What an exciting fight this has developed into. An overwhelming round for Benny Kanutza. We've seen nothing, very little in fact from Kutz so far. There you hear Alan Tawil telling Benny Kanutza to use that overhand right. Down the slot. This is 
still bouncing around on his toes, so obviously he took those punches well. Oh, look at the men play. Heavy punches. And now it's Kamutsa who's in trouble. As Kutsa cuts loose with punches to the head. I don't think there's any question that he was hurt there. Benny was definitely hurt, but he's leaning in. He doesn't want to show he's been hurt. Staying right on top of his opponent. What a fight. It's been action packed all the, all the way from round one. And don't forget, it's scheduled for 12. And now it's Kutsu's coming back. No question. Oh, there goes Kutsu. There goes Denny Kanutsu down. A left hook did it. Blood pouring from his nose. He looks to be in a lot of trouble. I don't think he's going to... I don't think he's going to... He's going to be counted out on his feet. Yes, he is. He's out. What a magnificent fight. What a, what a turn up for the book. Pierre Kutsu dragged himself with from what looks to be certain defeat to come back in round three to knock out Benny Kanutsu with a devastating left hook to the jaw. Tremendous punch. What a recovery. What a brave young man, this new heavyweight champion South African Earth.